What will possess you to fight the most vicious man in the world? Making history. This is what it's all about. For more weight equals more power. I'm coming for you, Tyson. Ah! Terrible. Derek, what the fuck? That's not Bro. my fault. That's not my fault. You don't know he's in his prime. He's fat. I'm not fat. He's super lean and mean. He's fat and funky. Welcome back to Quick Rundowns. Today, we're diving into one of the most ridiculous rivalries in boxing. Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. Yes, you heard that right. The problem child trying to take on the baddest man on the planet. Honestly, it's like watching a toddler try to tackle a bear. Let's break it down. First off, can we talk about Jake Paul's antics? I mean, who does he think he is? This kid waltzes around like he's the king of the ring, spraying prime on Mike Tyson like it's holy water. I get it, he wants attention, but dude, you're not in a playground anymore. This is boxing, not a YouTube prank. And then there's the way he tries to throw punches at Tyson in those videos. It's like watching a puppy try to bark at a lion. Jake, my man, you've got to realize Mike Tyson isn't just any fighter, he's a legend. The man could probably knock you out in his sleep. You can't intimidate someone who has literally spent decades intimidating- uh. Now, don't get me wrong, I respect Jake for stepping into the ring and trying to carve out his own path. But this isn't just a boxing match, it's a lesson in humility. Tyson has faced the best of the best, and let's be real Jake's just not in that league yet. I mean calling Tyson out while munching on fast food? That's peak Jake Paul. I don't know if he's in prime, he's fat. I'm not fat. He's super lean and mean, he's fat and funky. I it's heavyweight. Fuck you, Mike. I, just, I don't know if he's in prime, he's fat. He's super lean and mean, he's fat and funky. I saw him with his shirt up though, and he's fat. I got Right there. It's like he's living in his own little reality show. New PR, 500 pounds. I'm the strongest heavyweight in existence. No spot. Let's go, Let's go, Let's go, Let's go Let's This is it. Mike Wade. Mike Wade. Come on. Mike Wade. Let's go. 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 let us go Jesus Christ, there's levels. That's a surefire way to find yourself on the receiving end of a brutal lesson from a man like Mike Tyson. I already gave him his warning. Fight like your life depends on it because it does. Now picture this, fight night rolls around and Jake walks into the ring thinking he's some kind of joke telling superhero. But across from him is Iron Mike, a living legend who has been training like a man possessed. I mean, have you seen Tyson's training videos lately? This guy is sprinting, hitting pads and looking sharper than ever. It's like watching a lion preparing to hunt while Jake's just out here playing dress up. Yeah, look, he's the bull, I'm the matador. Speed and timing beats power. And let's not forget the serious consequences of underestimating Tyson. Mike isn't just any fighter, he's a beast who has earned every ounce of his reputation through sheer grit and determination. Jake's been running around showcasing his new PR of lifting 500 lebs. And while that sounds impressive on paper, the reality is a bit more complicated. Fans have pointed out some alarming things about those weightlifting videos. You know how it goes eagle-eyed fans playing detective. When Jake claims he's deadlifting 500 leaves, but the bar doesn't even bend, it raises a red flag. It's almost as if he's lifting a barbell made of pure illusion. The weight isn't just heavy, it's heavy on the imagination. New PR, 500 pounds. I'm the strongest heavyweight in existence. No spot. Let's go, Jim! Let's go, Jim! Let's go, Jim! Ah, this is it! Ah, ah, my my Wait, come on. Ooh, there you go, you got it. 
I mean, come on. Anyone who has lifted serious weight knows that a barbell bends under pressure. But here's Jake lifting as if he's a magician pulling a rabbit out of a hat. This is not just a faux pas, it's a full-on circus act. And while he's busy trying to dazzle us with his strength, actual boxing experts are cringing. One seasoned trainer even said it's embarrassing for fighters like Jake to resort to these tactics. Real work shows in the ring, not through edited clips on social media. I don't have a warning from Mike. I think he knows that I'm not scared of him or his antics. I'm not concerned about anything. And let's face it, if you're relying on fake gym footage to build your reputation, you're already setting yourself up for failure. This is not just a fight for Jake. It's a pivotal moment in his boxing career. So, but here's where it gets interesting. Joe Rogan, the voice of combat sports, recently called out Jake for being a fraud. And when Joe speaks, people listen. He's been around the block. So when he labels someone as a manipulator, you know it's serious. Rogan's critique hits home hard, especially in an age where authenticity is everything. And let's not forget the psychological games at play. Jake thinks he's being clever by dressing up in that fat suit, but in reality, he's only exposing his vulnerabilities. Fans are quick to call him insecure, and they have a point. When you can't take a jab about your weight without turning it into a full-blown circus act, it shows that you might not be ready for the big leagues. So Jake, instead of flaunting that ridiculous belly, why not focus on what truly matters? You're stepping into the ring with one of the most feared fighters in history. The real training is going to happen when the gloves come off, and you can't hide behind gimmicks or fake weights. And let's talk about Tyson's potential revenge. You know he's furious about all this mockery. Imagine him plotting his comeback like a strategic chess player while Jake is busy building his fake weightlifting empire. Tyson is likely envisioning that first punch, and trust me, it's not going to be pretty. I can already hear it now, Jake, you wanted a show. Here's a reality check. Tyson's not one to take these jabs lightly. He's known for his explosive power, and I can't help but wonder if Jake's antics are going to turn this fight into a lesson he won't soon forget. So, as we approach fight night, I urge everyone to keep their eyes peeled. Jake might think he's playing a clever game, but when that bell rings, it's just going to be him, the ring, and an incredibly angry Mike Tyson ready to unleash his wrath. No fat suits, no fake weights, just raw, unfiltered combat. What's at stake here is Jake's reputation. Not just as a fighter, but as someone who claims to be a serious contender. He's walking a tightrope between self-promotion and the harsh reality of stepping into the ring with a legend. And if he falls, he might just fall hard. And then we have the ultimate showdown of training footage. Jake training hard, looking like he's actually taking it seriously this time. But come on, can we really trust a guy who's been known for his social media theatrics? Meanwhile, Tyson is out there, still looking like a beast at his age, proving that experience counts. He's not just training, he's reminding the world that he's still Mike Tyson. But let's not forget the recent comments from Tyson about Jake's lack of respect. That's where things get serious. Tyson's not just some washed up fighter trying to cling to fame, he's a boxing icon with a legacy. And Jake, well, he's playing the role of the spoiled kid who thinks he can get away with anything. Spoiler alert, he can't. It's almost painful to watch. The way Jake uses sarcasm, trying to downplay Tyson's experience is just cringeworthy. Like when he called Tyson fat while he was stuffing his face with burgers. Newsflash, Jake, you're not exactly the picture of fitness either. You can't throw stones when your own house is made of glass. And speaking of fitness, can we talk about the fight itself? Tyson is preparing for this clash like it's his last stand. He's not just training, he's sharpening his skills and getting into fight shape. Meanwhile, Jake's throwing around his bottle of prime like it's a magic potion that'll give him superpowers. Spoiler alert, it won't. And what about the odds? Joe Rogan said Tyson would have an easy win and honestly, I can't see it any other way. I mean, when you've got a legend who knows every trick in the book against a guy who's still figuring out how to tie his shoelaces in the ring, it's like bringing a knife to a gunfight. It's almost sad. So what's the takeaway here? Jake Paul is entertaining, I'll give him that. He's made a name for himself through sheer audacity. But when it comes to stepping into the ring with a true heavyweight like Mike Tyson, he's in over his head. This isn't just a fight, it's a masterclass and I can't wait to see how it all unfolds. This ain't a game he warned, his voice dripping with authority. It was a stark reminder that behind the jovial exterior, Mike High Tyson was a man who had faced the fiercest fighters in the world, a champion with a legacy etched in the annals of boxing history. As the days passed after the Cowboys game, Jake channeled the tension into his training regimen. The gym became his sanctuary, where sweat mixed with determination as he honed his skills. Each punch that landed on the pads reverberated with a fierce intensity, a testament to his dedication. Jake pushed himself harder than ever, fueled by the need to prove that he was not just a social media star, but a legitimate fighter capable of standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with a boxing icon like Mike Tyson. I'm ready for whatever Mike throws at me. This is my moment, he declared to the camera, 
a fiery determination in his eyes. Meanwhile, the media couldn't get enough of the growing rivalry. Clips of Jake's antics juxtaposed with serious interviews of Um I.K. painted a picture of a young man trying to stake his claim against a titan of the sport. It was a spectacle that captivated audiences, and the stakes only seemed to rise. In one particular moment, Jake lounged on a couch, fast food spread out before him, as he watched Mikey on a podcast discussing his thoughts on Jake's physique. He's lean, but also, kind of fat. He needs to focus on discipline. Mikey's voice echoed through the room. Frustration bubbled inside Jake as he listened to Mikey's comments. Tossing aside a burger, he shouted at the screen, Yo, Mike, you think I'm playing? Just wait, it was a defiant response, one that showed his unwillingness to back down. The irony of Jake's fast food consumption while preparing for a fight was not lost on the viewers, but it only fueled the narrative Jake was a man who thrived on controversy, even as he trained for the biggest fight of his life. Mike K. Tyson, on the other hand, was relentless in his training channeling his fury into every punch. In a dimly lit gym, surrounded by reporters, he paced back and forth, visibly furious at Jake's antics. That kid thinks he can disrespect me and get away with it. This isn't a joke, he exclaimed, his voice booming like thunder. He stopped, locking eyes with the camera, intensity radiating from him. Jake, you're gonna regret every sarcastic word you've thrown my way. This is serious business. As the fight date approached, experts weighed in on the potential outcome. A roundtable discussion featured professional fighters and Joe Rogan, who analyzed the upcoming bout with keen insight. Mike is a legend for a reason, Joe asserted, leaning forward in his chair. Jake might be fast, but he's stepping into the ring with a true fighter. Experience is everything. Fighter one nodded in agreement. Jake's got heart, but heart doesn't win fights. Mike will make quick work of him, he stated confidently. Fighter two chimed in, emphasizing the mental aspect of the game. If Jake doesn't respect the game, He's in for a rude awakening. The consensus among the fighters was clear Jake would need more than just speed and bravado to take down a man with Mike Tyson's pedigree. As the days ticked away, anticipation built to a fever pitch. Jake's training montages filled social media feeds showcasing his relentless dedication. He was running, shadowboxing, and visualizing victory, each clip designed to build momentum and hype. Meanwhile, Mikey was hard at work too, hitting heavy bags with a ferocity that sent ripples through the boxing community. He was a force of nature, a man who had weathered countless storms in the ring and emerged victorious. Same fate, I'm gonna knock out Jake Paul. When you see Mike Tyson hitting them pads, you get a little nervous. Hey, here we are. Yeah, you know? Hey, here we are. You fought against herself and you won today. Yes. Look at the way he react. Days like that make hey. a lot of difference in life. He fought against himself today, he came, he did the best train of the week. Finally, fight night arrived, and the arena buzzed with palpable energy. Fans from all walks of life filled the seats, eager to witness the clash of two vastly different fighters, one a social media star, the other a living legend. As the announcer's voice boomed through the arena, the excitement reached its peak. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event, Jake Paul V's. Mike Tyson the crowd erupted, a cacophony of cheers and jeers, as both fighters made their way to the ring. Jake stepped into the ring first, the adrenaline surging through his veins. He bounced on his toes, a mixture of excitement and nervous energy coursing through him. Crossed the ring, Mikey Tyson stood stoically, a warrior in his element. The contrast between the two was striking Jake, with his youthful exuberance, and Mikey, with the weight of experience etched across his face. The bell rang, signaling the start of round one. The opening moments of the fight saw Jake employing his speed, darting around the ring and throwing quick jabs in an attempt to unsettle Micah. Stay quick. Don't let him catch you, Jake whispered to himself, focusing on his strategy. However, Mikey remained composed, absorbing the punches with a calculated poise that only a seasoned fighter could muster. This kid has no idea what he's in for, um, Mikey thought, his eyes tracking Jake's movements with hawk-like precision. As the rounds progressed, the tide began to turn. Jake, though quick and agile, found himself struggling to maintain the frenetic pace. Mikey's experience shone through as he gradually began to dictate the rhythm of the fight. Jake's bravado began to wane. The reality of facing a boxing legend settled heavily on his shoulders. You won't take me down that easily, he shouted defiantly after taking a solid hit, but even he could feel the shift in momentum. The fight reached a pivotal turning point in the later rounds. Mikey, sensing weakness, unleashed his power, landing a series of punishing blows that left Jake reeling. The crowd gasped as Jake stumbled back after a powerful right hook caught him off guard. It was a moment of reckoning, the fight unfolding in ways that the young contender hadn't anticipated. I can't let him break me, Jake thought desperately as he tried to regroup, but um, I key was relentless, moving in for the kill. In the final round, both fighters were visibly fatigued, yet my key's experience proved to be the deciding factor. He closed in on Jake, who was struggling to maintain his composure. You're just a kid playing with fire, my key taunted, 
his voice low and confident. In a swift motion, Amaiki unleashed a powerful combination that sent Jake crashing to the canvas. The crowd erupted, a mix of shock and exhilaration sweeping through the arena as the referee began the count. As Jake struggled to rise, determination flickered in his eyes. This isn't over, Mikey muttered weakly, but the reality was clear. Mikey Tyson stood victorious, raising his arms in triumph as the crowd cheered. The fight was a testament to the power of experience and respect within the sport, a lesson that Jake was learning the hard way. In the aftermath, Jake sat in a post-fight interview, bruised but defiant. I learned a lot tonight. Respect the game, respect the fighters. I'll be back, he stated, a fire still burning in his eyes. His resolve was palpable and though he had faced a crushing defeat, he was determined to rise from the ashes, ready to fight another day. Meanwhile, Mikey reflected on the bout, the challenges that lay ahead, and the respect he now felt for the younger fighter. That kid has potential, but he needs to earn respect. This sport isn't for children, he remarked, acknowledging the talent Jake possessed despite his immaturity. As the camera faded to black, capturing both fighters walking away from the ring, a sense of mutual respect began to brew beneath the surface. The clash between In the end, it's clear, respect the legends. Tyson has earned his place in boxing history, while Jake is still trying to figure out how to navigate the basics. Let's hope he learns that sarcasm and showmanship don't win fights, they just make for good memes. So, fans, what do you think? Is Jake Paul biting off more than he can chew, or is he just playing the villain perfectly? Fill the comment section with your thoughts. And as always, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more boxing news and hot takes. Until next time, keep the conversations alive and stay tuned for this roller coaster of a fight.